So I'm about halfway through the book, The Courage to be Disliked by Ichiro Kishimi. And it's blowing my mind. Uh, I don't know that I agree with all of it because there's some really bold things being said. Uh, I'm going to need to read it a few times uh, and think about it before I find some sort of um, uh, more centered thoughts on it. I'm almost, uh, almost, I'm trying to avoid the word judgment or, um, you know, anything to do with an opinion of it because I don't want to create a vertical system where I'm judging the book and saying it's good or bad. Um, but particularly, I, I'm, I'm thinking a lot today about how it relates to being an artist and if you don't rely on people uh, to give you feedback for your work, is that a good thing? And specifically when it comes to like YouTube videos. Now I'm making these videos for this channel because uh, I just want to communicate with people and I'm just sharing the works that I do and the thoughts that I have along the way. That's it. If you go on YouTube, you can go down many rabbit holes where they talk about you know, the things you can do to be more popular, to have more views, to get more likes, to get more subscribers and things like that. Um, and I say this just after finishing Gary Vee's book, um, The Day Trading Attention, in which he talks about basically posting on social media every single day, at least four or five times a day, every platform. And you know, I did that for a while, and I didn't notice a change. Now maybe it's that I'm just not good at this, but reading that book, and reading this book, I'm seeing that I was uh, sort of looking for recognition from others. And rather than letting that develop into an inferiority complex, if you know Adlerian psychology, because that's what this book is about, Samuel Adler's philosophy um, um, as a psychologist. He was a contemporary of Freud and Jung. I now see that I, uh, it wasn't working because I was trying to please others maybe or I was trying to gain something from it and I don't want to gain something from others nor do I want to give anything away. So halfway through this book, The Courage to be Disliked, I'm willing to be disliked in order to be free and so therefore I wanted to jump on here and I don't think that this is a question meant in a vertical uh, embrace of any sort of vertical structure. I, I, I'm, I would be curious to know if anybody's read it, especially if anybody who's read it and is an artist, how do you apply this to your YouTube game slash social media game? Does it change the way you think about it? Are we um, different from other people in a way? Uh, I, I mean, well, we are, but I, I mean in regard to how we view our work. I haven't got to this part yet, I think. I assume he's going to cover this. But as artists or creatives, you may not create work that pleases others. That may not be the intention. But you do need support. Whether or not you rely on that support or you're going to let that dictate how you make stuff and what you make is a different thing, I think. I think. Um, but going back to the YouTube rabbit hole of people making all kinds of uh, suggestions about how you can in grow as a channel and increase your viewership and subscriptions and all that, I think that's terrible advice for an artist. I think you should be doing what you think is interesting and unique, right? Um, I think you probably know that already. And I think Gary Vee is probably well-meaning, Seth Godin as well. And these guys say brilliant things sometimes where I, you know, I buy their books and I read them. But I think they're wrong about this. 
or Nate Black, who I also respect, um, creating things for other people to gain is a weird way to look at it. Like if you're making things for people who are watching, can anybody just do that then? Why don't I just have an AI person get up here and say, on today's video, I want to tell you about this thing of history or whatever. If it's all about you, then what's the point of me being here? And if it's all about me, what's the point of you being here? But for me, I can watch a video where someone's talking about themselves and gain something from it as I watch it because they will either um, stumble upon some information that I can find useful or I find use in observing them as a human from one human to another. But I think specifically about creating uh, works of art, I'm doing paintings and video and music and acting and films, narration, all of these things to me are linked. It sounds like a lot of things, uh, just a multidiscipline person. Uh, I'm creating those things not uh, because I think they're so great that people should look at them or experience them. It's just that I think they're interesting and I'm trying to make something that's unique that's never been done before. That's it. And I'm hoping that other people find a connection with them and support them. But if they don't, they don't. That's their task, right? They talk about tasks in here. Like, my task is to create works and share it with the world, I guess. And then if other people find it interesting or connect with it, that's great. Um, and if they don't, that's great too. That's their task, and that's not something I can control. So, as Andy Warhol said once, just make art, and while people are deciding whether they like it or not, just make more art, because you can't control it, and it's not any of your business anyway. And I think that's right. And I think that's in line with this Adlerian psychology, which is the basis of this book, The Courage to Be Disliked. I highly recommend it. I'm just going to make work. However... I would be interested to hear from other people uh, if you're familiar with this book or the philosophy behind it or anything I've just said. What is it? Does this resonate with you at all? And if so, how? All right. Uh, until the next video.